Good evening. Welcome to my evening routine preparing for a 6am wake up. If you are someone who has really struggled with having any form of evening routine as it is, like literally your usual routine is to walk straight through the door and collapse into bed with Netflix and maybe you take away, maybe you'll just shove some sort of food together and that is you for the night and you're wondering why you are so tired in the morning, you're not finding yourself hopping out of bed and you absolutely just despise the sound of your alarm and you're in this constant loop that you can't seem to break. I have got you, I am going to give you some strategies to make some changes and have an evening routine that's something that's actually maintainable. It's not going to have to take you hours and these are simple steps that are just going to make things a lot more achievable so that you can be getting up nice and early and not feeling absolutely shattered when your alarm goes off. This has definitely been an area I've had to work on because my habits looked like I would work up until half eight, half nine at night and then give myself literally half an hour to make my dinner and then it started to affect my sleep because I wasn't sleeping very well, probably because my food was still digesting. I just didn't have any wind down time so I'd get into bed, start thinking about oh I forgot to do that on my to-do list and also not having a plan for the next day and I really think your morning routine starts the night before. If you haven't made any preparations then you literally just wake up, you don't even know what direction you're going in. It's about ten past seven. I try and finish my day as early as possible but it's usually about half seven at the moment which is realistic for me don't compare to anyone else's like if you can't finish work at five o'clock or you don't get home until seven ish then just work with what you've got rather than working against yourself like i'm not going to have time for a flipping face mask every single night and a hot bath to wash my hair it's just not something realistic so being okay with that is the first step what i like to do first is wrap up my day so what is super satisfying is going through my list for the day my to-do list and ticking off things that I have done and if I haven't managed to complete certain tasks just moving them to the next day rather than putting everything to the next day it's like spreading it out throughout your week like don't be scared to just put it onto Wednesday say if it's Monday and you don't want to bombard yourself tomorrow with six of the tasks like spread them out so it's something that you can actually tick off if you're finding you're getting to the end of each day and you physically just can't tick off these lists it could be time to just look at your to-do list and ask yourself like am I just trying to overreach like is that just not realistic to be able to tick off 15 things off a to-do list would I be better putting four things off and not overface myself and constantly give myself overwhelm so I've been using time strike to organize my days and I'm thinking I might make the jump and move over to notion but the last time I checked notion it was a little bit overwhelming but I feel like it does have more kind of options in notion so that's something that I want to do maybe next week who knows this is an example of what my day like on a day like today kind of looks Looks like I just have these random sheets of paper where I've been either listening to a podcast or I've been on a call and I've just had random thoughts or like creative ideas so I like to do these on paper rather than on like a digital version and then my digital kind of lists and to-do lists are more of like the hard stuff that I just like simple so I'm just gonna go over and tick things off I'm not going to go on, on too many tangents, but another thing that I've been using today is my timer. This saves me so much time and it's also given me an understanding of how long certain creative tasks actually take me and just reminds me like of my time. Okay, so I can tick these off. I haven't managed to do, I can do that tomorrow, edit what I did in a day wheel, move that over. I've started this task, so I'll just highlight stuff that I've kind of started. Plant evening routine and lashes and brows. Oh, it's such a nice feeling actually. And then I am just going to plan out my day tomorrow. So it's a Saturday. I've got, it makes me feel a bit sick if I'm quite honest, a 32 kilometer run. To be honest, that is enough just for one day. Like I know I'm not gonna have much energy after that. So I'm not gonna add much more to that. And with it being a Saturday, it looks a little bit different, but I'm gonna get up nice and early so I can get that in. And also I wanna see So yeah, so just put down, like move anything over that I haven't done from the day before to the following day and just organize my next day. And then what I will do is go over my weeks, months and years, like once or twice a week and just make sure everything's actually aligning. And then look at the state of my, I hope this is focusing. Can we just take a minute for the amount of tabs open? Close all the tabs, apart from that one. And that one, I kind of need these. 
to close down any tabs. I feel like I really cling on to stuff. Like I kind of want to have these up so I don't forget them. Oh, done for another day. It's been quite a laptop heavy day today actually. I've had a lot of calls. So it's nice to be able to, oh, that's enough. I'm just going to finish off my steps. So it's not a run day today. So on my non-run days, I just maintain my step count, which is 10K steps. So I'll usually break that up to half an hour in the morning and well, half an hour, 40 minutes, which gets me around like 6,000 steps or so. And then I do some like during the day and then I just finish them off on an evening, which usually doesn't take me too long. I usually call like my dad, my brother or family or whatever on these walks or I'll listen to like a bit of a podcast just to make myself a drink you also go ahead and grab a drink because I bet you're like me and haven't drank much water today I've lost another nail today but maybe this weekend I can go and get my nails done so I'm making one of my favorite drinks which is a bit random but it's apple cider vinegar and sparkling water I really got into the habit of having elderflower syrup in my water but it's a little bit too much sugar This is also really good for digestion as well and got lots of antioxidants. I'm trying to hide my nail, if you can tell. Oh my gosh, I've been saving this delivery all day because I've had quite a busy day, but it is a certain trainer. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm just gonna open this quickly and get off of my walk, but it is. Dun -dun -dun. Oh my gosh, I've been really excited to see what these look like. So these are the Saucony Endorphin Pro. So this is my first carbon plated trainer. So I haven't actually tried out this brand before, but I needed a faster training shoe for my tempo runs. And this could be potential marathon day trainer. I don't know yet. I'm going to see what I think, but I saw these had some quite good reviews. I think with them being white, I'll mainly use these for treadmill runs whilst it's still wet. I'll keep you in the loop and let you know how they are. Gosh, just got back. I absolutely love a walk when I finish my day. I feel like it's when I actually just decompress and it doesn't even have to be long. Like even if you do a 10, five or 10 minute walk, just get some fresh air. Oh, totally different. And I'm just gonna dim the lights. This is something that I didn't used to do, but set the vibe, like have a difference, especially if you work from home a lot. I think just literally dimming the lights makes the biggest difference and creates a bit more of a relaxing vibe. I'm gonna put my music on and make some dinner. I'm gonna make one of my Mexican style, high protein balanced dinners. Mm, please don't quite fit these things, but we're just gonna make them work. A little bit wonky. Oh, please stay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep my eye on these things. I can't be having these set in the house on fire, but, oh my God. Ah! Stay. Oh, Jesus. This is my playlist. I'll pop a link in the description so you can check it out, but it's kind of R&B, really chill, Brent Fires, Tens. Oh, I love it. Wait, let me find you my favorite song at the minute. This one. I'm gonna put it on the speakers. One of the best things ever installed in this house is the, the speaker in the kitchen, actually. It really gets used. I did also just want to say, I had a moment, it was actually last Friday, where I was just thinking, how am I 25 and I love my own company? Something that I never thought I would really enjoy. Like when I was younger, I used to find it so hard like to be with my own thoughts because I didn't really like my thoughts. You know, when you look back on reflection and if you're watching this and struggle to spend time on your own, it could just be literally that you don't really like the thoughts you're having and to actually sit with those thoughts and sit with those emotions, process things and ask yourself questions. Why do you want to surround yourself with people at all times? And are they the people that are adding to your life? Like now I'm more like selective with who I share my energy with and who I let into my life. And I feel like it makes a world of difference. And especially when you genuinely like yourself and you are happy with the person that you show up as. They're just some of my deep little thoughts. That's I also what I love about on an evening because I feel like I get in my feels.
here is my dinner. This is so delicious for one. It's super balanced, so we've got protein from the chicken, carbs from our sweet potato and our mixed beans, lots of fiber, healthy fats from our avocado, and I've got some Greek yogurt, and then I've got tomato, broccoli, a bit of lime, and then I just mixed avocado with some red onion, and they're like a taco. Oh taco flavored and um, bean type thing. And then, oh my God, this chicken, like it's such a nice way of seasoning. Mm -mm. And then ketchup. Oh, this is so nice. Haven't got a proper dining table set up other than where I sit and work. And I just don't want to sit there to have my dinner. So we're here. I haven't watched anything on TV this week, to be honest. I might put some YouTube on. Mason's YouTube's logged in actually. So, oh my God, I can see myself on shorts. Restock my fridge with me on the shorts. I'll, I'll click myself. I want you, I need you okay. That was delicious. Just gonna tidy everything away. That is one thing as well that is an absolute must, which is cleaning up your kitchen so that you come down in the morning to a clean and clear space. There's nothing worse than when you leave all your plates out from the night before. Obviously, sometimes it happens, but I always notice it's so much nicer to start your next day just with a fresh space. And you have, again, like time in the morning then to do your little morning practices rather than tidying up. And I always put the dishwasher on on a night. Oh, today, I'm made you know the viral date bark you might have seen it on tiktok or instagram i made the viral banana bark i don't know if you can see it too well oh, it's so good but it's basically dark chocolate peanut butter and then some frozen fruit on top i'm gonna have it tomorrow as a pre or post workout i've got that long run so i'm probably gonna need it but Mm, mm, mm. I uploaded the recipe for this on my Instagram. It takes a few minutes to make, and if you want a little healthy dessert, something sweet and savoury because of the peanut butter, or as like a pre or post workout little snack, this is quite nice. Something else that's changed how I sleep is making sure I eat my dinner at least two hours before I go to sleep if I can, if not more, just so that you've got a chance to actually digest it rather than digesting all your food in your actual sleep.
that brings us to the end of my evening routine. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you could do me one favor and make sure you subscribed, join the family. And also if you haven't already liked this video, I would really appreciate it. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.